This university rose to the challenge. This was a major turnaround for this school and this community. This was a team that was really working hard to make that vision succeed. We did what needed to be done. This is a celebration of the community coming together. At Midland University, we're on to our next chapter. How does a school go from less than 600 students to nearly 1,300 in four short years? What is it that drives a community to save a vital and beloved hometown institution? How does a team of people turn a vision for a student-centric campus into reality? How did this school turn itself around to become the fastest growing university in the Midwest? Rising to the challenge, the Midland University success story. In 2009, the parking lots were vacant. The campus was empty. It was kind of grim, not a really thriving campus. Good uh, vibes were not permeating out of this place at that time. This was a school who had had a fairly stable enrollment from the end of World War II until about three or four years before the dark times came. And all of a sudden, Midland's enrollment had declined by more than a third, and they had developed a $4 million annual operating deficit. And it just wasn't clear that there was a way forward. And they asked me to take a pen to paper and put together a bit of a proposal about what a turnaround would look like. We needed some major financial contributions, uh, not surprisingly. Uh, we needed some contributions from our creditors. There were individuals uh, involved in the community that stepped up to the plate and helped out. And that required a lot of hard work. And some of the hard decisions that had to be made is there had to be staff, some major staff reductions. Everybody at Midland pulled together, working nights and weekends to get the story out of what we were gonna build for students. There was definitely planning. There was a strategic vision that was put into place and communicated well and executed well. They hired quality people, high character people, that could help implement their vision of where they want this place to go. And the vision involved everybody from the top to the bottom just getting involved in all the activities on campus. And over these four years, I would say that we have lived up to that vision. And I think in a lot of ways, we've exceeded that vision of where we thought we'd be in four years. I think before students came here to go to class, get their degree, and then to prepare for getting a job. Now it's more about coming home to Midland to be part of a new family. They were having a good experience before, but now it seems like they're having a great experience. You with the sad eyes, don't be discouraged. In performing arts, when I first arrived, there was a handful of students in the music programs. Now we're seeing 250 plus students involved in the performing arts and theater, dance, singing, acting, everything you can think of, and it's just awesome. The growth here has, uh, in the general student body, has been remarkable, and certainly in the athletic department, has been uh, remarkable proportions. We currently offer 27 varsity sports, and this fall we started our rosters with over 760 athletes. You know, those kind of numbers make us the largest uh, athletic department in the, in the state of Nebraska. The change has been phenomenal. It's just being here on campus, it's very exciting. People seem happier to be here. The first matches here my first year, we literally would have parents in the stands of the players, and that was it. This past year, we had five matches over 1,300 people. We had one match over 1,800, and we had a school record of over 2,000. We've really looked at what is the best possible scenario for students? How can we actually create the most student-centric environment possible? We've been engaged with our accrediting agency, the Higher Learning Commission, and have built some pretty impressive processes that bring transparency and accountability to our learning outcomes. Lots of colleges and universities talk about it. We actually are the only place I'm aware of that truly um, have implemented and integrated those kinds of things. One of the benefits of Midland is that it's a smaller community, and so we are very focused on the students. There's just so many different things that you can be involved in here at Midland. Our expectations of what we want our students to do has been increased. We have increased the accountability measures for the students, and the students have risen to the challenge. Student engagement has increased, the excitement on campus has increased, just the overall morale on campus is building. They all care for each other, they all care about their community, and being a part of something that's fresh, being almost pioneers in this new era. The energy that has come from Midland is really spread throughout the community as well. Everybody is happy to be associated with Midland and happy to have Fremont associated with Midland. I'm just so, so ecstatic that the university is back on its feet. 
it is where it is, and other kids that need that type of environment for learning, it's available to them. This is a very special place that's had a glorious 130 year past, but it has a future that's every bit as bright and brighter because of the project of the last four years. And uh, I don't think there's anybody who was a part of this that won't forever remember the privilege of investing to build for tomorrow. This is Midland University, rising to the challenge.